Welcome back. It's time for our weekly County Connection segment and this week El Paso County Commissioners are having discussions that could shape the future of El Paso. Here to tell us more as always is County Communications Manager Laura Gago. Say Laura, let's talk capital improvements. All right, it looks like the Commissioner's Court is getting closer and closer to making a decision on whether to take a go bond to voters. That's correct. These next couple of weeks are really important and we encourage the community to attend meetings and sign up for public comment. On Tuesday, the court reviewed and discussed various projects recommended for funding by the county's Bond Advisory Committee or BOAC as part of the FY 2024 Capital Plan for El Paso County. This week, the Commissioner's Court held the first of three workshops that will review recommendations by the BOAC and the community. Uh, over the last several months, we've held over 24 public meetings in parts across the county to engage residents where they are. Uh, we've also had over um, countless hours across nine meetings with the county's Bond Advisory Committee, which is a citizen-led committee to actually develop this recommendation. And so this is the time now where the, where the Commissioner's Court is hearing the product uh, that's come about of all the work that's been put in by the public, by county staff, and most importantly, by a bond advisory committee. Out of approximately 100 projects originally identified by the county staff, the BOAC unanimously recommended $295 million in general obligation bond projects, about 28 projects, and $188 million in certificates of obligation projects, about 23 projects. So Laura, how would this all affect a homeowner, and what are the next steps? Sure, the county may issue up to $195 million in debt without raising the county's tax rate. An additional $305 million may be issued without affecting the county's bond rating or a version of a credit score, which would raise taxes by $0.03 cents or approximately $5 per month on a $200,000 home. Here's Jose Landeros again with next steps. This is all leading us to the date of August 12th, where the Commissioner's Court may consider calling uh, an election for some of these for some of these bond projects to go actually go out to voters for approval. Uh, right now, they have not made a decision on which projects or what amount or if they're even going to pursue that option. But if they do, it'll happen at the earliest at the August 12th Commissioner's Court meeting next month. The following are important dates to look out for. You can sign up for public comment at the next two workshops. They'll be taking place on July 18th and July 29th. And if a go bond is called, this will go to voters during the November 5th election. All right, that's some great information there, Laura. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this in the coming weeks. As always, it's really great to have you here. And we'll be right back here on KTSM 9 News, first at 4.